Pagpatak ng alasais ng umaga, pupunta na ang mga kadete sa tinatawag nilang mess hall upang kumain ng almusal. Ah, nandito po ngayon tayo sa kadet mess hall. Ito po yung lugar na kung saan uh, kumakain yung mga kadete natin for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Yung mga signs po na nakita nila ang mga hand signal. Ito po yung mga device ng mga kadete kung paano sila humingi ng assistance sa mga perso uh, mess personnel natin. Bawat Bawat po ang signal, eh, may katumbas po yan na nire-request na servisyo. Vinegar, this is soy sauce, and toothpick, mm, add rice, ng add rice. One. Two. Three, four, five, one. Hi, I'm Mitch Baker. I get to serve as your national secretary, and today I'm really happy that you join us for our officer to officer video. We'll be talking all about formal dinner etiquette in this month's officer to officer. When I was a regional officer for Middle Tennessee FFA, I was able to go to a good couple of banquets. And one of them was really, really formal. You know, the ones where people wear ties and suits and they're all adults and you're responsible for advocating for what your organization or chapter is all about. I was at one of those banquets. I was a little nervous, but the entire night was going, oh, pretty well. We, we were having a great time, cool conversations. But it all came to a crash when it came to dinner, and we were all seated around the round table. That was the point when I figured out that I have really no idea what it means to eat at a formal dinner setting. It was an awkward mess. I was grabbing one person's bread, the other person's drink, none of which was supposed to be mine. It taught me a lot about what it meant to eat at a formal dinner setting. We've all been in that situation at least once or twice, and if we haven't, then today is your lucky day because in this video we will be talking all about what it means to eat at a formal banquet. Here's how we eat at a formal dinner setting. It all starts with the napkin. We'll place that on our lap. From that point, we'll be making our way from the outside in. We'll work our way from the outside of the fork and the spoon in towards the plate. The first course, the salad. That's when we use our shorter fork on the left side, our salad fork right here. We'll work on our salad, taking small bites, manageable bites. Once the salad has been taken away from us by our server, that's the point where the main course will be served. That's when we get to use the really, really long fork and the knife. When we're eating and cutting up our food, we're only going to cut the bites that we're going to eat. Let's not pre-cut our food. We'll take small marshmallow-sized bites. Don't bite off more than you can chew. And once we're done with our main course, we'll place our fork and our knife parallel to each other on the plate. Let's make sure that the knife blade is facing towards us and not towards our guests or the people around us. That would be rude. After the main course is taken up, we will have our dessert placed in front of us. That's when we get to use the top fork and the top spoon. Hopefully we know that if we have a cake or a piece of pie, we'll take our little dessert fork. But if it's ice cream, we'll use our spoon. A quick tip to remember is that our bread and our drink will always be on our left or right side. We can remember this by making a B with our left hand and a D with our right hand. Bread will always be on our left. Drink will always be on our right. Another quick tip. Grab your drink with your left hand throughout the meal. You see, you might be meeting people while you're eating your dinner, and no one likes to shake a wet hand. That's just kind of weird. So instead, we'll grab our drink with our left hand so we can keep our right shaking hand completely dry during the meal. Those are the basics that we can use for our next formal banquet. And hey, we didn't cover all the rules. 
There will be a time in the future where you'll have some questions about what you should do. If you ever find yourself in that situation, simply wait and watch. The people around you will probably know what they're doing, and if you follow their suit, you'll be good to go. Thanks for joining us for this month's Officer to Officer. I'm Mitch Baker. Have a great day.